Hi, friends. Welcome back to The Couch Crocheter, episode 115. I found a very, very old crochet book at our farmer's market. Last Friday, Matt and I went to our local farmer's market. It's called Green Dragon. Some of you guys may have heard of it. Some may not. Um, it is the second largest outdoor farmer's market. Um, and I think it was just rated number two in something. There's a huge sign out there. But if you, well, you know what, I'll leave a link down below to this local farmer's market. It's a sight to see, if not anything else. So every Friday, me and Matt, and sometimes Cole, if he wants to hang out with us that Friday, because he's at that teenage years, um, go down there for date night. We always walk around the farmer's market, you know, get our stuff for the week. Um, you know, have dinner there on Fridays. So I decided that I wanted chicken on a stick this last Friday. So I was walking around a part of the farmer's market that I normally don't just gander around because there's really nothing ever down there um, that, you know, is on our list. So we were eating and we were walking around and there's this Amish girl at the end of the stand and she had this little tiny bookstore within the farmer's market and out of the corner of my eye up in the corner I saw crafts and I was like oh you know I wonder what they have so I went in and I was looking through and I'm like oh you know I wonder if they have anything crochet so they had one thing that was crochet and I bought it. Uh, I paid $2 for this book. So I am very proud of my find. Um, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let me tell you first when I say that it's very, very old. I think I'm a little bit on the old side. And the last copyright of this book was in 1976. So this book is one year older than I am. <laughs> Uh, let me just get to the details and share it with you. It is the best of Woman's Day crochet from 1976. Now, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm a bit of like, you know, a hippie per se. And like, I really wish that I was born way back then. Like if I could be, you know, 15 in 1963, I think I would be absolutely ecstatic absolutely ecstatic maybe 16 okay 16 in 1963 like if i could have lived any generation or any time or if there was a time machine and i can go back and hit the button that's when i'd hit the button and i would live way back then um and let me tell you i have paged a little bit through this book now um, there's a lot more that I wanted to mark, but I don't want to talk too much about it. Maybe I'll do another section of it. And I'm sure that you're going to see this book sometime soon because there are a couple of things that I am excited about doing and alterating. Um, again, let me just show you what it looks like and how awesome it is. 1976. I mean, just look at some of those patterns, like the pictures. A complete collection of the best of from Women's Day in every popular area of crochet. Now, it does have a lot of categories to it. Um, oh, and originally back then, it was $9.95. Which, I don't know, I just think it's nuts. So, it has, like, you know, the basic how to crochet. Oh, it has an introduction, how to crochet. And then for women, and it has subcategories, halters, vests, and small tops, short sleeve sweaters, long sleeve and sporty pullovers, sweater sets and jackets, uh, dressy sweaters, long skirts, dresses, suits, and wraps, accessories. And then it has for children, three categories, clothing, accessories, toys, for men, it has one category, sweaters, which I look through those and I wish that I thought Matt would wear one of them because I would make it for him, but I know he never would. He doesn't, like, he wears shorts in the middle of winter. Like, he is a very high temperature person like I am, which I'm grateful for. And actually, in the winter, he is my heating blanket. Like, there's times where I have to be like, 
you know, move over a little bit on the bed. Like, we can't snuggle so close tonight because you're, like, sweating me out. <laughs> um, So I know that he would never wear it. Like, I, he wears T-shirts and, you know, um, shorts all winter long. Like, he owns, um, he owns a Carhartt. We just retired the Carhartt to a Wolverine jacket, which we thought was a little bit better quality, um, personally. And um, I think he's worn it three times. And one was to the football game last year that him and Cole went to, the Eagles and... Uh, it was Eagles and Dallas game. I think it was. Um, anywho, he'll never wear them, so I'm not even going to bother. And then the last category is decorating with crochet. And then yarn sources, I guess, like where you get your yarn, which I didn't even look at that. And that's going to be something I'm going to dive into. And then credits. So I just want to show like and share a couple of them with you. And this one, um, I would absolutely love to alter for myself. I don't know how to show you this without... Um, showing you the pattern but it's called what is this one called pretty poncho and i know that it says for kids um let me see if i can at least cover it up a little bit there we go oh i just lost the marker let's check that out guys like, I know that it says just for kids, but I'm going to see if I can somehow alter it to fit myself. Like, let me see if it even gives you, like, the dimensions of it. Like, you sometimes they're, like, the multiples of it. You know, sometimes you're, like, this is a multiple of 26 plus 2. You know, um, something like that. It does not. Yeah, it does not. But that's okay. It's cute as heck, though. I did lose a marker, so there's one less I'm going to show you. Oh, and this one, I wish that I can also um, somehow alter to fit me, because it's just so adorable. Let me see. Yes. Oh, sugar. Okay. How cute is that little tiny skirt on her? I even love the bands. Like, it has a thick band at the top. And I know it's just a granny stitch, and then it looks like a pico at the bottom. I'll insert a picture here, and then I'll tell you the story behind this picture. This picture is a crocheted um, afghan that I use every time I'm up here and I get a little bit chilly. And I just inherited it by accident from my Aunt Sandy. Um, I put out a message to all the girls, the red tent girls, as we call them in our family, for extra blankets because it was really cold one winter. And, you know, we were living in the motorhome, which wasn't that insulated. So, um, you know, we just asked for like extra blankets. So my aunt Sandy gave me this blanket that she used to have in her camper that she just recently sold. And in there, like five days later, she calls me and she's like, Donnie, she's like, um, I think one of those blankets in that bag that I donated to you, um, your grandmother made. And I was like, oh my gosh, Aunt Sandy, is it crocheted? And she said, yes. I said, you're not going to believe this. I went through all of them. And I, and this is before I even crocheted. I did not even pick up a hook at this time. I went through all of them and I picked out that one for my personal blanket just as another, you know, layer. And that's the first layer that I put down after the fuzzy blanket to keep warm. Um, and I kept it aside for myself. And uh, didn't isol insulate around um, our bedroom area. Like, you know, we hung up the other blankets all around the windows and, like, you know, tucked them all in for extra insulation. Um, and I snuggled with it every night. And I had no idea that it belonged to my grandmother. 
So I'm paging through this book and I'm thinking 1976. The first copyright was in 1972. I believe it said 1971. So I was wondering and I'm reading through and the colors don't quite match up that they ask for, but it's just called a cozy Afghan. And I'm wondering by looking at that and looking at this, if this may be by small chance somewhere out there that maybe this was the pattern <laughs> that possibly my grandmother followed. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to see, and I'm not going to look at this blanket um, at all to compare until it is completely done. And then I will do another episode um, of a comparison. I am just curious if it matches up. I'm just curious if this could possibly be it. You know what I mean? Like, I think that that would be pretty stinking groovy. Like, that would just blow my mind. So I haven't picked out the colors or anything yet. And I have, you know, a marker here that that's a definite... Um, but I want to try it. So let me show it to you guys. Let me see if I can figure this out the right way this time. You know what? I might not need the book. But I can just do this. Guys, there it is. I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If it doesn't look like it, then, you know, I at least thought about her the whole entire time I was making it. And if it does turn out to be, like, the exact same, like, pew. <laughs> I thought there was one more that was marked back here. I guess not. I thought there was a bigger one still back here. And the other one I lost the first time that I flung it, and I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't remember. Um, I'll have to page through again. Oh, here's one that I missed. Here's the other big one that I was looking at. Um, you guys know that lately, well, not lately. Uh, one of the first things that I crocheted was a little tiny turtle, and then I just did it again in the video for... Uh, Madeline and Dylan when I came back from the beach. Um, so that was in May. And I made that turtle. And then I made those two little turtles, which were the same pattern. Then I made um, Terry the Terrapin that um, Matt named after the Grateful, Den, the Grateful Dead Terrapins. And then I was paging through and I saw this turtle. And I thought, why not? I made all the other turtles I've come across. Um, you know, they're adorable. I thought I would definitely give it a try. I don't know how I'm going to cover this one. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to cover this one. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. I should be a little bit more prepared with this, I guess. I should have big pieces of paper. And then this one up there. Yeah, that works. Okay. New view. Flip you, flip you, hold you. There we go. Now I might have to get... But there he is. I'm just going to move it around in case I don't have the angle right or whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to do him too. He looks interesting. He looks like he has a... A nice looking head, like it's going to be like a really 3D looking head. And I thought about the panda there too, but that's got a lot of parts. The mouse looks adorable, but he's too small for me. I could never. And the turtle, I might do like, um, you know, a bigger size. We'll see. But that's one of the ones I just wanted to share with you quick from this book. And I definitely wanted to share it with you. Um, I think it's an amazing find. I know I wasn't going to spend any money on yarn or yarny things, but I absolutely could not resist. I definitely did not think that this was something that 
um, I could pass up on or that would be there, you know, whenever the new year's over and I can break this, um, you know, no spending on mar yarn thing. It was $2, you know, I'm not breaking my bank. It's definitely not coming out of the house fund, which guys that's coming up soon. Uh, we should be getting, um, the electrician to come by. We're setting up an appointment with an electrician, um, to come put electricity in the house. We are ready for step two which is electricity. So that's exciting news, and I'll share that all with you when it's all done. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be safe and stay groovy. Bye.